Hi guys, Mark from Sparky Shed back to you here again. Today's the day, we're just going to go straight for this. We're going to make this officially a Ryan drive. Let's go. Yes, I think this could be a good day. I was expecting this next Thursday. I did not think it was going to get it. <laughs> Saturday morning. I did say two day service, so I wasn't expecting that. Let's have a look. So another YouTuber recommended this company. He was talking about converting his 280Z from left to right hand drive. Thank you, Nick. Look at that. That. Wow. Didn't think it was going to come with both plates. That's the inner plate, I think. This is the outer plate. And they are beautiful. They are so nice. We've got all the edging. We've got all our dimples for the extra strength. It's got the little offset here. So yeah, I think we're just gonna make it up and see how well it matches with everything. And if it's good, we're going to go install them today. Woo so step one, I need to remove off these tabs here. They're not going to be used on this side. Oh, I'm gonna get crap in there now on that. We just need to work out where this goes in here so I'm going to replicate the whole position over there in relation to the frame rail and mirror it over here and then I'm going to use that as a reference point for everything else so it should be fairly close so let's see how it goes okay so I transferred the position over here so how did I do that so I took my verniers, you can do it with a measuring tape if you wish as well, and just take a height from there to there, there to there, so I did that here, from here to here, and here to the actual scrape up there, and then I actually leveled the car, and I used the level, obviously it's not my level, but I used the level to draw a straight line up here, and up here is two reference points off the edge. And then I measured from that line back and that line to the far side. So from my blue line back and blue line out to the far side. So then knowing those four outside points, I just basically halved it and etched in a little pinpoint right there. And that will be where I could either start trimming, cutting, or have a core drill somewhere that'll get a good start of it and uh, start working this out. So I kind of pushed a dimple through from the engine bay back into the footwell and it allowed me to kind of get a little spot point and then I was able to etch the circle. I'm just too lazy to drive up and buy a core set so I'm going to just see if I can snip it out with a snipping tool. I already have access to this hole here to start with so I'm just going to give it a shot. Okay that worked out fairly okay. Now see I'm going to put this plate in that there is a little bit of a height difference so I'm going to just double check some of my measurements but probably what's going to happen is I'm just going to be kind of tapping on that corner in there and getting a snugger fit in that arch and that will allow those two holes to line up I measured the hole anyway and it is spot on with the location of that one over there so it's a good starting point okay so I have kind of pressed in that part with this. <laughs> so I just get the, give this a couple of taps just to, to coax in this area here. And it actually didn't take all that much pressure. So we now have a fairly close match. Should we get the hole lined up here? 
left, right, top and bottom. And then we'll probably just level this top up here and that will define the location of the other holes. So the only thing I need to do is to figure out what I'm going to do with these ribs. I might try and see if I can just leave them be and just coax them in with something similar to that. We'll see. Maybe had that in the back and just tap it into the front with an ordinary hammer. And I might have to do the same here. Hopefully, I won't have to go cutting. Um, that'd be a big relief. Okay, I had to go and press that down a little bit more just to make sure that there was no part of it. Actually, up along here was pressing up this a little bit too high when I had it level at the top. So now that I have that done, I have drawn a line. You can barely see it all the way around here, just to mark where the edge of it is. So all of that needs to go, and half of these need to go. So I'm just gonna see what they're like to tap back. They might want to go at all, let's see. So I put a block that is wedged against the back of the, foot, well, of the, uh, the seat well and I started tapping this but what's happening now is as that's going back in this is coming forward obviously because there's excess material there so I think there's only one way for this and that is trim it out so I'll trim that out and I'll trim these two fellas over here out and we'll weld in plates and we should have a, a better result altogether Folks, if you like the uh, the detail I go into on uh, projects like this, just give us a little subscribe there. I love doing this, love showing how I do. Um, just give a little like there as well. I really appreciate that. Thanks. So I've managed to use the other two cutouts to cut the shape of these two plates. So now what I'm going to have is these welded in, nice little flat plane for my pedal box plate to uh, mate up against. So. I can just tack these from this side and then I might go and weld them from the other side that way. I don't have to worry too much about grinding on this side. And um, I might just give it a little while around here maybe. We'll see how we go. But we'll give it a lash. Okay, that's our two panels welded in. Um, the only welded them from the inside, as you can see here. Um, not the cleanest of welding I've ever done, but it's definitely solid as hell and fully sealed all the way around. So what I'm going to do now is just polish this whole area up and make it nice and flat. Alright, I'm in the engine bay. This is the old plate. You can see that it kind of does go in quite far there. Uh, we have our whole position already taken for the other side and now we can see that we've got a gap here. So going to the other side. Sorry about the background noise. Um, so this plate has kind of got more meat underneath here on it, but it still doesn't interfere with the tab down below, thank god. And uh, we've got the exact same gap up here. So do you know what? I'd say we could actually bore through in the rest of the holes and see how we line up. This is the only bit I'm a little bit worried about here, but um, maybe give it a little bit more space there. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go. So our plate is in and I've bored into pilot holes. It's actually four. One, two, three, four. Just to see how everything was lining up. And you can see it's pretty good. To give me confidence, I decided that I would put in the dash. So we have our stock in, our steering. Uh, shaft goes down through, uh, we can bolt up afterwards because there's a plate going inside. The uh, box, pedal box is bolted in position, line, lining up all four holes. It is centered to the dash. Um, it's a little bit low because it just needs to be bolted up, but the frame is actually a little bit low as well. So here is where the big catch came in. The height 
of this part of the dash is lower on this side than that side. That side has a recess for the pedal box where this side didn't. It obviously was designed for taking the airbox. So for me to get it up and in position, I had to cut a hole out in here. You know what? I'm gonna want to clean up this area anyway a bit better. I wasn't fully satisfied with that plate the way it went in. So I have an opportunity now. So I'm going to have to raise and replate this here. So it's coming good together good. It's way, way slower than I expected, of course, but look, it's nice to have it done and done right. And having the uh, dashboard put in now is kind of giving me the confidence to go ahead and start welding up parts in place because you just don't know. You're just terrified to weld anything securely until you actually get uh, some sort of mock assembly going on in there. But yeah, it's looking good. Happy days. Okay, so I folded this bit of steel here. This is only one mil plate, but this is actually under tension, so there's no real really need to go up to the 1.5 that's on that. Um, or even possibly two, I'm not too sure. But this is basically, it's just clamped up that way, and we'll have a seam of weld here, a seam of a weld here, and across the top. So that's just going to sandwich it up there nice and tight. Now, when I was doing my little mock-up measurement, I found that I need to go up slightly to the right that way. So I'll give it a little squeeze over and up, and I should have it spot on to where I want it. Um, and then I can go and fabricate the mounts for these, either side here. Um, but I will need to fill in this void that I created. So that is kind of where we're going to be next to the list. So, got the steering uh, bracket, or what would you call it, the steering column bracket, uh, fabricated there. It's just essentially a one mil plate folded into that contour. It's easy to work with when it's one mil. And then a flange then down to the middle of there. I checked it with the uh, the dashboard and there's no interference, there's no issues there with that. So it's kind of a, it works perfect. Um, the only flexing that's in it is from the bulkhead itself. So it's perfect for the needs anyway. So next I need to get in here, get this all water tight. Water tight. So I've opened it up a little bit more just so I have nice square edges and I've cleaned it all off inside so I can get ready for welding. And this is the plate that I've just fabbed up. So essentially it's like a little cowl that's going to sit up in here. And then I'll just have to press it up nice and tight all the way around. And what that will do is allow the uh, pedal box to sit up into this area, but I can seal it off now. So I'll probably do the majority of the tacking from underneath, and then I'll seal it from this side. It should be golden. So this is our pedal box recess. It's uh, fully fitted and formed in around the whole area. Came out quite well actually. This is it from the other side. So that just allows the pedal box, pedal box to protrude up into where uh, the wiper cowl is. And we'll just basically seal it, and that'll be it. Uh, got to close up the weld here as well. One of the uh, spot welds up full shoe before, just to get a couple of tacks and close it off. Very happy with that now. All right, guys, back at it at last. It's a nice Saturday morning here, and um, I got a bit of free time before a rugby match starts, so I decided to uh, do a little bit of work. Um, just in the background, every few minutes here and there I've been kind of finishing off doing what I was doing last which is mounting up these brackets here and here and I think I had this finalized off the last day um, I did a little bit more welding just on this down here I was chatting to a suitably qualified engineer or suitable qualified, uh, suitably qualified individual and um, he was advising me that anytime you do any kind of structural welds to best weld it from inside and out. So we weld them off up here. I've welded it out completely. I couldn't weld it on the back uh, too easily, so I did it on the other side. Um, uh, overall, I'm very, very happy with the way this lined up. It's allowing the pedal box to touch this plate here. So it's up to its maximum position. Then it's nice and tight up against these three mounts. So you can see here you got one, two, three, uh, four, five, 
and then down here around that point there where the pedal box goes through the bricks six seven eight nine uh, I think that's all as far as I can remember. Oh, I 10, 11 then for the clutch plate. So what I'm going to do today is kind of try and finalize, finalize this area, which is essentially plating off this. It's got a nice little well through primer on it now at the moment. I'm going to get the location of the um, clutch pedal plate tight onto this and get it uh, finalized all the holes and then get it tacked onto that. So hopefully by today I will have um, the inside or the outside of the firewall complete. When that's done, then I can come in and just finish off any little areas that are here. I'm going to try and do as many um, kind of MIG welded spot welds as possible from this side, just so that it's nice and clean from the outside. Obviously this area will be all nicely covered off with um, soundproofing and carpet and the dashboard will be in the way, so it's not going to be in the line of sight. So yeah, let's get cracking. So I just lined the plate up there, giving a nice level uh, parallel line with the uh, the um, bead that's actually on the car itself. It's kind of very similar to where it was located before. It's kind of covering all the, uh, the previous plates locations. And then from this side, I have a plethora of locations to go and tack it through just for extra support from this side. So uh, what I will also do is tack the outside edge of this all the way around. Simple reason I'm doing that is I'm going to seam seal this afterwards so you won't see the tacks. And I'll probably do a nice little taped job on this one to make it look good. So we're getting there. We got it tacked in. So we're going to tack every roughly 25 mil on the outside and then for every protrusion through the bulkhead, I tacked each of them so you can see where the steering column used to come through, where the uh, brake booster used to come through. Some of these are where the um, seam or the spot welds tore their way through it or were a little bit weak, so I bored them through and made sure we had good contact. We gave it a couple of more spot welds at locations where there were gaps down there, and then that's where the uh, clutch um, cylinder came through. So that's her weld sealed up from the other side. <laughs> Looks a bit messier, it just needs to be cleaned down, but we've got a plethora of tacks the whole way through. So this is not really a removal of the bulkhead, this is just a blanking plate. I get confirmation on this, but as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't need to be welded, it just can be tacked. Because basically there was no plate on the far side before, it was just the bulkhead, so this is, if anything, overkill. Alright, let's update before I get too carried away. Um, my plates in. Um, I went down and I bolted it on in a couple of locations after I confirmed that the uh, the uh, pedal box was in a good position and then I uh, bolted the plate on and then just slowly but surely clamped all the edges around and tacked it all the way. Looks a little bit rough but just remember that will be uh, sealant over all of that all the way down especially in there and then onto the inside I bored through a lot through the center of the plates, center of the plate, just so that I could actually uh, spot weld, which you can see going through here, all these little brown spots. So I just basically picked up anywhere on the plate where um, there's a bit of a gap. Um, obviously, the bolts will be holding together here and here, all the way down there. So we have all the center of the plate and all up along here where you obviously don't want the plate buzzing from vibration and extra structural strength. Uh, just to give you a further back view, that's it there now. So uh, absolutely delighted with that now. So I have that in, I have the little section cut away up there for the pedal box to fit into. I have the vent put in this side. So what I really need to do next is put the cowl in over here. But I just want to make sure that it's all rust, rust treated in there first. So I'm leaving the rust treatment until tomorrow. It takes a couple of days to dry. Uh, that way I can leave it for the few days during the week and maybe by next weekend I can come back and uh, she'll be good for the next stage. So, good progress. Alright guys, a fair bit done. Uh, a little bit more to do, uh, just with the body work and then there's going to be the extended part of the series which is obviously putting in the, uh, the steering rack, the more detail on the uh, dashboard and everything. So that'll be coming on later. 
But for now, we want to get to the stage there where we can just mop it up and get uh, some nice uh, coats of paint on this and make it nice and safe for the winter. So uh, looking forward to doing that. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.